Hi there. It's hard to believe we've hit the point in the semester where we're shifting gears to help students prepare for application. Uh, but here we are. I'm Ann Carter Mulligan. I'm the Director of Undergraduate Admissions at the Batten School. In the next few slides, I'm going to give you in some insights into what you'll find on the application and what we look for in applicants in preparation for your participation in any of our application workshops or office hours in the coming weeks, where Batten ambassadors can give you individualized feedback and answer questions. So here's what I will cover in the next few minutes. We'll talk about application and evaluation. I'll give you a few tips and suggestions for approaching the different pieces of your application. I'm going to highlight a new feature of undergraduate major applications this year, the new BA recommendation form. And we'll go over some important dates and events where we can offer you assistance going forward. So the application itself. Applications opened October 1st. Here are the basic pieces. The only changes this cycle are that we waived all application fees to remove barriers to application during a difficult time. And we're also, as I mentioned, piloting a new way to collect recommendations for the BA. Here is our process. The admissions committee is made up of admissions staff and Batten faculty. Each application is read at least twice. And then after independent review, the full committee meets to reach consensus on each applicant. No one element is going to make or break your application. There is no GPA cutoff, no prescribed classes outside of the prerequisites, no set activities. We're looking for a balance of factors to determine admission. We very intentionally practice holistic review to build a very diverse cohort of students. So we wanna see your passion, your engagement, your interest in policy, your academic growth. We really wanna see how you are a leader. So think about leadership very broadly. This is formal and informal leadership. Essentially, how do you lead in your daily life? Most important is how do you understand yourself to be a leader? What skills do you possess? How do you practice them? Professional vision and motivation to study policy. This is pretty straightforward. Why do you want to join Batten? Your work experience and community engagement. This can include paid and unpaid work, internships, jobs, school and community service, really broad uh, collection of activities for students that looks very different um, depending on the individual applying. Overall academic performance, what we want to see is growth. So yes, how did you do in the prerequisites and relevant coursework, but can we also see you challenge and push yourself and grow over time? Quantitative aptitude, this is important for all of our programs, but especially at the graduate level in preparation for the economics and stats of our quantitative sequence. And then writing ability, finally, how do you communicate? So here are some concrete tips to put you on the best possible footing as you prepare for application. This is a section within the core app that asks you to enter your activities please stick with three or four examples that you feel best highlight your leadership, your engagement, your policy interests, and your passions. And then you can give us the fuller list in detail in your resume. In this section and in other pieces of the application, think about the balance between your high school and your college activities. We know the challenge, especially now with reduced opportunity due to the pandemic, but it's really critical we get to know you in the here and now. So throughout the application, work to curate the content that you're presenting to give us balance. This is even more important for those early accelerated applicants applying in their second year to that program. You really need to establish your readiness for graduate level work. In terms of those resumes, we're pretty ambivalent about the style, the format, and the length. You should choose to use whatever style you feel best highlights your strengths. While ambassadors can give you feedback on your resume, if you want more concrete feedback on style, format, and length, the UVA Career Center has a number of really great resources on resumes, um, including samples, resume review tools, career counselors who can work with students. It's an excellent resource. 
Recommendations. So again, with Rex, we're asking you to think about balance. We really need to get a three-dimensional view of you as a candidate. So in addition to high school versus college, make sure recommendations are from someone in an academic setting, and then perhaps someone who can speak about you in some other way, whether it's an employer, a mentor, a research supervisor, a coach. Think about where there are gaps in what you're trying to present to us, or where you'd especially like to highlight your strengths and then ask someone who can speak about you in that capacity. Especially if you're in your second year, you might not have gotten to know your faculty that well. Uh, maybe you've been in larger lecture settings. Maybe your coursework has been mostly digital. Maybe it's lower level courses. That's totally fine. You can go to a TA. Uh, you can go to your NWAR professor since those are smaller sections. You could go to a language professor. It seems like um, most of those smaller settings that you've experienced in your early academic career are associated with fulfilling core curriculum requirements. Any of those professors or instructors are great resources. Think outside the box. Titles definitely aren't as important as a recommender's ability to speak in very concrete terms about your strengths. So as a general approach in thinking about your essays, keep in mind uh, something that we like to reinforce ourselves, personal policy practice. So infuse the personal, bring in your policy interests and show us how you practice those values and those interests. It's very important to be authentic. Don't just write what you think the committee wants to hear. Use real world personal examples and experiences and tie them together in a narrative. You are telling us a story. Most strong essays have a call to action, as in what called you to apply to Batten and want to study policy and leadership. Share that moment with us. It doesn't have to be something groundbreaking or momentous. Maybe you saw and responded to a visible inequity. Maybe you have engaged in some way in a social problem. Maybe you just have a desire to help someone in need. Whatever it is, make sure you spell it out. Also important, don't neglect one side of the question or the other. If we are asking you, for example, to highlight your interest in policy and leadership, make sure you address both. And finally, keep to word counts. This is a test in and of itself. We know that we give you very limited space to make your case, but you have to be concise you have to strike the balance between sharing your story and fleshing out your answer to the question. The optional addendum is something we always have in our applications, so you can provide us information that you might feel that we missed asking you for, or to give the admissions committee some context wherever you feel like something in your application might prompt a question. This year in particular, we're very much encouraging its use for giving us context on your circumstances regarding to the pandemic. That said, if you don't have a burning desire to share information with us, you are not required to submit an optional addendum. Definitely don't use it if you don't need it. But it is there to share with us some things to consider uh, might include a list of the following things. Um, this year, of course, some students are gonna have gaps in their materials due to the coronavirus. We very much do not want to penalize you for any decision you've made as a result of the pandemic. But because it's affecting everyone so differently, we really have to look to you to provide the context. So for example, it's totally fine to have gone or intend to go in the spring, I'm sorry, um, in grades this fall, uh, the route of credit, no credit grades, even for the prerequisites. Just tell us why you made the decision that you did. Any reasoning or decision you make is very likely the right one for you, um, but we can't intuit whatever factors you are dealing with. So the addendum is really important for fleshing out our understanding of what we might not be seeing in your application. Okay, the new BA recommendation form is something I'm really excited about this cycle um, because recommendations are so important in getting to know you, but they can be really inconsistent. So this is an attempt to reduce labor for you. We're taking a lot of guesswork out of what we're asking you for, for your evaluator and for us as readers. 
Um, it is an attempt to standardize information. So we're receiving similar info about all candidates and it's removing a factor that you uh, unfortunately sometimes have no control over. Sometimes you'll just get a bad letter and we don't wanna hold that against you. So this is a part of the form that recommenders are pointed towards once their info has been entered into your application. Um, there is a free response box at the end where they can give us any other information or thoughts that they want to. And they also have the ability to upload a typical letter of recommendation if they've already prepared one for you, but they also have to fill out this very simple form. You'll see here the criteria that we use as an admissions committee to evaluate applications. So we are being as transparent as possible about what we're looking for in a successful applicant. You'll see among these factors, it's a balance of achievement and potential, hard skills, motivation, and some other measures relating to things that we really value as a Baton community. Okay, finally, here are some important dates. Um, on the left side of the slide, you see our staggered application deadlines. In the event you are considering either the BA or the minor, we will be releasing BA decisions before the minor deadline, so you have some clarity there about how to move forward. The application assistance events are highlighted on the right side of the slide. For any of these, plan on at about a 15 minute block of time to connect with an ambassador for feedback. You can bring them your outlines, you can bring them your SMA, essays, your resumes, you can just use the time to ask questions about the application or our process. This is your time to use as you wish. I should say the onus in uh, submitting an application is on you. You have to build your compelling case to be admitted. Um, it will not come down to whatever feedback an ambassador gave you about your application. They are simply offering you a little bit of peer-to-peer -peer assistance um, so you can bounce some ideas off of them. But really, obviously, it comes down to you submitting your most compelling case for admission. So for any of these events, you can sign up through our weekly newsletter and on our website, batten.virginia.edu. Um, best of luck to you, and I very much look forward to reading your application.